Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, good. good. Great. Well, welcome. Me? Just, just me at the moment. Yeah. yeah. But, um, welcome, welcome to your, welcome back to your studio. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's all right. Um, yeah. So I've got them up. Um, just trying to work out the best way, best way to kind of do this. Um, the connection's okay, is it? Yeah. Seems fine. You can see. Good, yeah, good, good. I can see. Um, right, I might just flip round just so we can uh, see that it's probably easier to do that here. Yeah. So there we go. Got a couple of people. Hi, everyone. Um, so uh, yeah, maybe we'll just wait for a few people to come on. But um, yeah, yeah, just take you back to your kind of workspace. <laughs> oh so, man, uh, I really miss it so much. Oh, looking at it, I just want to. Oh, there we go. Sorry, just my messy table. Yeah. <laughs> That's where all the magic happens. Um, so yeah, just as a sort of tidying up, so there we go. We've got your, um, yeah, that there. Yeah. And then I've got some of your prints here. Oh yeah. Some of the, yeah, bits that been going on. Um, it's all kind of like an art, it's like preserved in aspic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The, the time I left, you know, the time I left, I didn't think that that would be the last time I'd be there for ages. No, um, and um, well, we can just kind of start talking about, um, so you've been, uh, yeah, if we kind of maybe have a look at the work, sort of, if I just sort of head round and then you yeah. can kind of have a, have a sort of talk through it, because this was all for your show um, that was due at the Centre Space. Yeah, so that was, yeah, that was going to start last week. And um, yeah, I've been working on kind of, uh, uh, a sequence of larger pieces to go into that show so yeah so there they are yeah that one yeah gosh it's funny seeing them after so long yeah that one I didn't I haven't titled that one yet but that was I was starting to work a lot in kind of working I I, I mean I I guess I have sort of genres of painting and that one was a cloud painting mm -hmm. so um yeah I don't have a title for that one yet, but there that's a, a meter square one, that one, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So you and, can um, sort of head in and, you know, kind of, I don't know if you want to sort of talk a bit about your process or how you, how you kind of develop the work. Yeah. Cause so, you've, been, you've been based here at Clayhill for, well, it's a year now, isn't it's it? It's a year. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been there for a year. And, um, so the process of these is, I mean, I just, I just, thoroughly enjoy the process of painting so I, I I throw an awful lot at a canvas someone was telling me the other day they're watching me paint they're like you you really go at the canvas don't you like, yeah. <laughs> like really like sometimes some of my marks are really quite firm mm. so um yeah I and these ones are all about like building up textures and, and building up depth in that way and building up strong contrast like the one you're looking at there yeah, it's, it's all about building up those contrasts and then sort of breaking it off or um, screening, screening bits off. Um, yeah, that's quite an interesting one. That's one of the ones that I'm not, not entirely sure if it's finished, but um, mm -hmm. it's quite interesting. I think that was, that was kind of the start of a new development that was just sort of, um, that was just starting to happen, I think, really. Hmm. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, because uh, I'll, I'll just if I just sort of head round and then you can kind of pick up as you go. Yeah. So that one, that one was called Rise, and that one was done, I think, during or very soon before Somerset Art Weeks last year. Mm -hmm. And I think it was. Um, yeah, so Rise became the name for my show that I was going to have at Centre Space that is no longer, well, it's mm. postponed. Um, and have you, have, have you um, well, I, I suppose you don't know when that's, that's going to be, that's going to be able to happen again. No, I don't know. It's one of the many, many things that, um, that I don't know, <laughs> that no one knows. <laughs> I think um, it seems to me that, live art that exhibitions is one of the things that that may be possible 
mm. with social distancing i can i can see it working with social distancing mm. um i'd be really interested to know what other people think about that actually because um i don't think um you know openings opening nights private views probably not but i've been thinking you know what one could easily put the painting put the paintings two meters apart and have mm. things on the floor uh, um you know tape on the floor and i, I reckon i reckon it'll be possible i don't think it's it's necessarily has to be that long before we can do it again mm. um but we'll see won't we and we'll see yeah. what um how how galleries fare that's one yeah. of the the things that is concerning because yeah, you just um you, there was there's a, there was a gallery that you just sort of started um what yeah what's the word they'd sort of taken you on with Glastonbury, yeah so yeah. yeah that was the gallery heart of the tribe gallery in glastonbury who were they were meant to have opened in april and of course everything went wrong um mm. so but they're still there they're still hoping uh going to open at some point this year and i mm -hmm. think they'll um it's going to be a really lovely gallery and a really nice thing for glastonbury but mm -hmm. it's just a matter of time and mm -hmm. you know parties are not allowed so there we go yeah uh, <laughs> but there's still I, I mean one of the things i hope they will do is do some prints um mm. that they've got um quite a good printing thing can we go back to the last one again because yeah that's... sure that was one that I was really pleased with. And I called that one Into Cool Water. Mm -hmm. um, and I just worked on that for, I just kept working and working on that one. It's got so many different, so many different layers. Um, it, it's like a lot of my works, it looks completely different to how I started. So, um, but I generally start with a with a really vivid colour, but then that one was just kind of layering over and over and over and over and over, and um, a lot of scribbling and just really going for it. I think yeah, because you yeah. you use um, lots of different kind of materials to create your layers, don't you? I do. I'm quite quite a magpie, so I'll use oh. <laughs> so I'll use anything that I can find really. Um, yeah, I, I use. Think I oils and um I, I sorry i use mostly acrylics and i can use oil pastels and acrylic ink and i do a lot of scratching um yeah because it was um just as i was i was having a bit of a tidy up <laughs> um but sort of finding lots of um so i'll just go back to your um yeah. your workspace here so there's lots of sort of pencils and yeah. um yeah sort of bits there um so yeah, yeah it's, just it's, a, a sort of random selection and some of them are like kids pens and stuff like that I've um kids pencils and just random sponges and yeah but they create really nice textures don't yeah. they and yeah. um so yeah and just kind of going back up to this one again kind of um mm. so, yeah, so yeah that's got lots of and, and pencil marks as well I love doing pencil marks and, and marks with um with just really ordinary biros which mm. actually make a lovely mark that that then will come through acrylic paint mm. which is quite interesting because um so, i would just have someone asking um sort of have you always painted in bold colors or has, has that kind of grown with your confidence yeah actually no i haven't always painted in bold colors and i don't know if that's um I think the moment that I did, the moment that I really started to paint in bold colours when things sort of came together and I went, oh, this is what I'm meant to be doing. <laughs> so a lot, of my, um, a lot of my earlier work was really quite subtle. There were a lot of, um, quite a lot of browns and mm -hmm. yeah, it, not really very recognisable in terms of what I do now. But yeah, that... Um, but it's kind of that that Mediterranean blue that I just can't get away from that I always come back to. Yeah, because you because know. you um you 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 trained over in Cyprus, didn't you? Yeah, I went to Cyprus College of Art for a year, um and just did painting. It was a fine art painting. Ooh, yeah, you can see that. <laughs> you can mm. see the. I think those are probably biro marks and all the yeah all the. Just all the different shapes and marks coming in. I just. 
I don't know. I don't really understand myself why I love it so much. If that makes any sense. I'm sure other mm -hmm. artists will know what I mean, but I just get such a kick out of just doing all those lines, making the scratches in the mess. I think maybe for me, there's a process of making a huge mess. Mm -hmm. and then tidying it up like this one in particular this yeah one. yeah so um and i do quite often have have a theme in mind so it's not that they're completely unplanned but they are for the large part they are unplanned and they um just roll out but this one i think it was at a time when i was feeling like quite quite sort of buttoned down and like there's all this stuff that I wanted to express and it wasn't coming out and then mm. um so I think that's what that one kind of means for me you know this which is quite relevant for now isn't it I yeah guess. yeah and we've all got an awful lot that we want to say an awful lot that we want to express but but it has but, but so much is shut down mm. right now yeah so and it's yeah. and and obviously, I mean, that's that's obviously been something because you've not been able to be here in in the studio at all. But you, you've you've managed to sort of carve some space up for yourself at home. You've still been kind of yeah. you've still been making work there. Yeah. So, so my my scale has diminished somewhat, but um, yeah, I've got a space in the dining room that I've given over to to painting, and um, I've got involved with the um, artist support pledge. Mm -hmm. which, How's that been going? Um, it's it's been a great scheme i think it's really helped a lot of people so with the artist support pledge uh, maybe i can link to it or something i'm not sure but um yeah i think we can yeah cool um so the idea is that you you offer up works for sale at sub 200 pounds and then um, when you reach a thousand pounds you pledge to buy work from other artists Mm -hmm. so it's a great scheme to you know keep money going around the art world and i i think a lot of people have have been i've been really surprised i've i've sold quite a lot of work and it's been really mm -hmm. encouraging um it's kept me going definitely um, at the start of this i felt quite bleak because you know all the all my exhibitions were cancelled and it's something like ah, mm -hmm. oh, there's not going to be any any way of showing any of this i had lots of nice exhibitions that i was looking forward to but actually we're gonna all have to adapt aren't we we're all gonna have to go online we're all gonna have to mm. work out different ways of doing things so um but yeah i do i do really miss physically being in a different space being at the gallery uh, at the studio sorry mm. um yeah <laughs> i miss that place yeah. yeah well that's what i mean that's why we thought we'd bring it to you today yeah it's <laughs> so. really nice to see it <laughs> yeah. yeah and and i mean do you think that the that kind of having the space here and the, and the time sort of for yourself is, is kind of helping you helps you create different work than you are creating at home at the moment how's yeah. that kind of been how's that been for you yeah i mean i think there's something um there's something kind of fundamental in the way I work that I don't think would be different whatever I wherever I was but um I just really miss that that physical time in the studio where nothing else is going on where it's all about just I just completely focus I get into that sort of focused you know um what's the word I'm looking for that that state of but, yeah of um just being completely drawn into a painting and and that's i miss that flow mm. that's the word um so yeah that's that's a big lack and i think the uh, the paintings benefit from it you know mm. i don't think i can do one that size at home i just don't think i i'd be able to but obviously i'm doing doing smaller works and i'm really enjoying that that's 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 been really important I feel quite I feel lucky that as as an artist I feel like um to have something like that that mm -hmm. means so much you know a, a creative passion it's really important it really really helps I think I'm, I'm lucky that I have that mm. 
relax. And yeah. and how I mean, how, how's it been? Because um, you've got uh, you've you've got two children at home. How, how's that been? Have you been making any work together? Have they been sort of influencing any any kind of work for you at this time? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's it's always it's always a juggling act being being a mum and have it and being an artist it's always a juggle and now more than ever really um i i love doing art with them and i do do art with them and um i think that's probably um my strongest my mainly my own my only strong point as a homeschool teacher is that i do lots of art with them. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, and that is lovely. That is that I feel that that's something I can give to them. Mm. Um, so yeah, I think that's an important, important gift for them. Mm. But, um, no, I think it it would be rather lovely actually if we could if if we could get a large canvas like that, get our hold, hands on a large canvas and and do some work together. But yeah. it's lovely to see that they have they have quite a passion for art as well so but yeah I think anyone who's who's got small children at home will will recognize the fact that you just you're just going to be juggling and it's just this is just how it's going to be a nice deal time I mean it certainly focuses the mind you know when I actually get time to do something I'm really like focused mm. so, yeah So I can't work out which one that is that we're looking at. Uh, yeah, and I'm just, I've just kind of gone in a little bit of food. Sorry, oh, yeah. the camera's sort of refocusing all at points, so I hope that's not too disturbing. But no, no, that's fine. So that's that's almost touching. Hmm. Which is, um, I guess, how you're feeling in this sort of state at the moment. <laughs> yeah, no one's quite touching, are they? It's, yeah, yeah, it's actually quite apt, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah. And I think this is another one where it's kind of controlled chaos. So we have lots of crazy marks and and scraffito and and dawdling and and yeah, lots of different sorts of marks. And then it, it gets gets marked off and bits get separated out, and then it starts to look a bit more coherent. Mm. So. Yeah, I think a lot of it is working through making making sense of the mess, mm. which is kind of how I feel about how it works in my head as well. So and 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 how is the work that you've been creating um, at home? Like, obviously, the size is quite different, but how yeah. how how has that been? Um, you know, in in terms of the content as well, is it is it quite similar, or or have you found kind of resistance to certain things that in the kind of studio environment it would be? Yeah, that's different? that's interesting. I think um, I don't, um, as you know, I'm always really influenced by the sea, by the ocean, by water. Mm. You know, that's a really strong element that always comes through my my painting and I think there's a real sort of in the stuff that I'm doing at the moment there's a real longing for the sea and for water mm. and that sensation of swimming so it's um yeah that's really coming out um actually the one behind me here is one that um that I've just done that I like it makes me think of pebbles on, on mm. the beach and the sea you know there's that kind of um there's a kind of nostalgia to it for sure mm. Mm. Um, I just want to go to the sea. Oh, oh God. but yeah. yeah. So that continues to be an influence, and I just think it will. I think my my paintings never about um, a particular place, and they're always very nostalgic and very um, emotional. They're they're an emotional response to the mm. world. So they they kind I guess I'm kind of trying to capture different emotional states mm. so, um, of which we're experiencing some pretty heavy ones at the moment <laughs> indeed yeah <laughs> yeah and you know have, have you got um so another another thing um that since your time here at Clayhill we've been kind of talking about um if I just take you over to the sort of storage container here um 
Oh yeah. Bit, but um, so we've got another one of these outside, which which um, you're going to have a go at, at, at sort of creating some work to sort of go on top of it. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's definitely been in my mind, and I've been, yeah, I'm going to have. I, I, I think I do paint in a very different way. Like in, in the smaller paintings, I, they are a different kind of a different discipline to the large ones. So mm. trying to create that large space is going to be it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a, a very different way of painting. But um, mm. yeah, I'm meant to be doing that now. That's what I'm meant to be doing this spring, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. But well you know we'll, but, we'll have that on pause <laughs> yeah it will it will happen and i think it will be um reflective of clay hill and reflective of my time there mm. so, yeah because there's a lot of sort of land, landscape here isn't there and that's what we've kind of talked about sort of tying that in um to um yeah the, the kind of feel of the of, of the work that's going to go on there yeah like the one you're looking at now i would say broadly was a abstract landscape mm. it's um you know that's that's just other people might see it differently but there's there's water and there's land and there's there's a certain structure of sky and and land that that mm. often happens when i paint and um i think it's, if you look at the lines at the back you can kind of see the edge of the landscape i think mm. something like that might be really nice on a on a really large scale mm. so. and that and that's i mean taking it large scale as well is is going to be something that like you say is going to be a, a sort of challenge and i mean in terms of the kind of material choices that you'll be using for that um what have you been thinking kind of about that yeah so um i'm quite interested in using vinyl Mm -hmm. um i think that I think might be really good. Here, actually yeah I've, i think i've got some haven't i to the yeah, yeah. That i bought to experiment with and never yeah um so i think some vinyl would be really cool and some um spray paint i think would be good like the the mm -hmm. heart painting over in the corner there that complex heart painting that, that i used some spray paint in that and i think that that sort of effect because I love the sort of drippy effect of paint and you can get that with spray paints that's in the middle is it there? yeah and some of the pink as well is spray paint so I think that might be really that might be really good. Mm -hmm. so a mixture um a mixture of the the quite sort of um the bold lines of the vinyl with mixed in with some mm. um spray paint I think that'd be I think that'd be quite interesting yeah Cause that's what and i was that's... like i like i like high contrast so i like the contrast of um, high contrast in terms of color and also in terms of texture so mm. i think that would that could work really well but and another it's... one yeah go on sorry no go on no I'd, I'd just say another one of the things i know that you've been looking at recently is, is um is getting some of your work sort of printed um and that you know going through that sort of process as well how's that been for you yeah, well, I, I haven't I haven't printed anything yet. Um, I got some really lovely photos done by Joe Hounsom, who's on here, um, before lockdown, and in order to get some really high quality. And I've been doing I've got I've got cards and I've got cards going. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think I think that's something in the future that I would I would really like to do. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't I don't think you can ever quite you can't ever beat that texture of a painting mm. and it's one of the reasons why i really want to exhibit in the flesh as well because you just can't ever quite replicate that mm. yeah the, like those scratchy bits like the texture of it i think it's almost it's almost more like a sculpture because um mm. so that's the kind of thing that's what i love when i go and see other people's paintings is getting up close and looking at it and seeing the seeing the textures and seeing i i love paintings that, that sort of tell the story of how they were painted so you can mm. you can see the mark the different marks that people have made and i i love that when you can see that so hopefully yeah. before too long we'll all be able to go and look at each other's paintings again yeah hello Hi. Joanna Bryan. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah 
And how's, I mean, you know, this sort of experience, not being able to kind of be with, with the work as you would be in a kind of, in a normal uh, kind of gallery environment. Um, how does this sort of feel for you? Do you feel still connected to the work or does it feel quite disconnecting? What, the work that I'm seeing now in the studio? Yeah. Yeah, no, I feel quite close to them. They're all sort of, um, I, yeah. No, I feel like I know them all really well. It's like seeing old friends. Hmm. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, but I do, yeah, it, it's a very physical process and I miss it. And I miss hmm. being able to splash like crazy. Um, <laughs> Although I have completely ruined my carpet here. So, yeah, you know. Just like this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was allowed to do that there. Yeah. <laughs> it look like that. Yeah. yeah. Like... But, um, but, no, it's, um, working at home ha has also been fine. And I, I'm, I'm getting on okay. But there's just sort of, it's just the scale, really, that, that mm. I miss. Hmm. And so the the work that would be um, so I mean it was due to, due to um, show at the centre space it was last Friday wasn't it I think the the final that was day would be the opening day. yeah mm -hmm. yeah and yeah. um, so I think this was yeah was this the final day but um, yeah so yeah yeah it was a week yeah yeah so um, yeah so yeah. that's a shame I I think I'd been focused on that for a really long time I think that's how artists work very often isn't it you know I think mm. we all do we work towards a, a project, um, work towards a, a goal. And then to have, I mean, just like so many other human endeavors, it's been cut off mm. and it is disappointing, but I've, I've kind of got over it now, you know, at first I was really gutted, but then it will come back. And like I was saying earlier, I think, I think live art is one of the things that can withstand social distancing. Mm. Um, you know, I'm going to talk to the gallery soon and say, like, what what do you think about having a socially distanced mm. exhibition? I mean, I, for one, I really miss the opportunity to go and see other people's work as well. So mm. hopefully it won't be too long. Yeah. But I mean, we've just got to, as artists, we've just got to try and carry on, carry on doing what we can do, even if it's just a few minutes a day. Yeah, which is, which is what, um, you know, I mean, I mean, that's what you kind of have, have been doing and, and how have you found that you know in, in terms of kind of your network and community and everything sort of through this this kind of time I mean what sort of have there been any kind of tools you've been using to sort of maintain that um, and and sort of help you through things yeah well I've discovered zoom like a lot of people <laughs> um, you know that I didn't know it existed before um, so, um, I mean, I've enjoyed your, your meetups. So if anyone doesn't know that Clay Hill have been doing virtual creatives meetups, mm -hmm. um, and those have been really nice. And um, some set artworks have been doing similar meetings. And I, I talked to friends on Zoom. I have a, mm -hmm. a weekly chat with a group of friends who, um, several of whom were art college friends. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that that virtual contact contact is is so important. But I I do feel like we're we're lucky at this time that we that we have all these things. We have the the social media and the this kind of thing, and that we can see each other. You know, I talk to my mum, and I can see mm. her, and that's really nice. So we're lucky that we have the technology, and I think the technology will. I think we've made a sort of um, evolutionary, evolutionary leap with the technology. Mm. You know, hopefully we'll keep using it like this because it makes so much sense. Yeah, well, I, I think for kind of, you know, being able to connect people, um, you know, I mean, like across the UK, well, across the world even, um, yeah. you know, the fact that we can all be in a room together, but, you know, from the kind of comfort of our sort of living room or studios and, and, and that sort of thing. I mean, it, it's definitely something we've been thinking about in terms of here at Clayhill, which is obviously all set up for being a, a space that's kind of bringing people together. But, you know, being able to kind of fuse that that live and digital sort of together. And, and you know, so if there was a, a kind of group studio crit happening here in, in, in a kind of live sense that we could have that sort of streamed and things as well. Um, yeah, and how absolutely. That, 
you know, so, you know, that those kind of conversation, critical kind of conversations can kind of happen in a bigger sort of sense. So, um, yeah, it's just um, trying to, yeah. Work with and that. we're human beings, we'll always need both. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we just will, won't we? We'll always need the human connection. Yeah, but I mean, if I'd, we I'd... Can, But if we can kind of concentrate that down so the human connection bit is is really enjoyable and lovely and then a lot more business can happen online mm. if that makes sense mm. yeah mm. and i think yeah it's just just finding that balance which you know we're all getting to sort of grips with now yeah. through all this isn't it yeah yeah but it's interesting like like my husband's working from home entirely now and we're mm -hmm. kind of saying, well, why, why is he driving to the office every day? Why do these things happen? You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's the advantage of a crisis, isn't it? As horrendous as it is, is it gets us asking why, why are we doing these things? Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, being able to, to sort of shift the way we do things in the future, you know, um, so just, I was just coming up to these bits here, which was just sort of picking up on that, you know, the, the sort of sea spray and things, which I yeah. just love. Um, yeah, I really, I can almost feel that sort of mm. pulling the paint, paintbrush up and using various different sort of liquids and, and mediums and stuff and inks and things to make that sort of, um, make that feeling of water. Mm. Yeah. And one of the things I know sort of whilst you've been here, you've been kind of talking about um, the kind of sort of sustainable a a aspect, not only, you know, of your practice in a financial sort of sense, but also about the, um, you know, the materials that you're kind of using. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, I mean, obviously you're kind of recycling um, sort of old pencils, pens, that kind of thing, even old felt tips, you know, kind of add those kind of extra layers and things in but um you know i just wonder if you wanted to talk a bit about um yeah the the, the paint and things and 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 what sort of ideas you've been having kind of around that yeah i mean one of the things that i would like to do when i get back to clay hill and i know i've talked to you about this is finding some kind of recycling system for the for the waste acrylic paint because i do feel really aware that um that it's plastic you know and it turns mm. to plastic and I don't want to wash it down the sink so I want to investigate ways of of saving it and harvesting the leftover acrylic which will be brightly colored and then making something out of that I think that'll be really interesting mm. um but yeah it's it's really tough because it, it is basically plastic so I have to accept that that's that that's how it is I mean I don't think oil paint is any is any more eco-friendly mm. um so yeah just have to make sure that i use every drop the best that i can that's the yeah best well, that I, can do. I mean you've been yeah saving and collecting kind of bits here so we've got you know a few jars of of things kind of developing so yeah yeah if there's anybody out there that 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 is kind of interested in that or would wants to kind of help with research that kind of thing yeah because it basically turns into a sort of vinyl like substance doesn't it the 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 rejected the, the leftover acrylic paint so that's mm. quite interesting i think it could make something really lovely because it mm. all comes out in these colors of course mm. um yeah but i mean I, it's it's small things like making my my cards uh, um from recycled sources and things like that the, the small things around it but um yeah hmm I mean, it's all, it's all a big unknown, isn't it? Yeah. I think, um, which is equally, um, equally difficult and an opportunity. Yeah. In terms of what happens next. Yeah. And, um, well, I mean, I, I just thought it would be kind of helpful for you and for everybody to kind of see the work that has just been in in kind of store here so as a sort of virtual tour so we're going to be um this will be downloaded and available i think through igtv so we're going to sort of oh, figure cool. out how, how all that works 
Um, and then we've got some um, images of the work that you've been making kind of during lockdown and things as well. So um, that will all be up there for people to kind of see. And then, um, yeah, details of your kind of um, website and all the work that you've been kind of um, doing. Um, and then, yeah, on, on the kind of other side of all of this, we'll, we'll kind of have, you know, the work that's here. I mean, even before it goes to kind of the um the the kind of other galleries you know um be happy to kind of have this on show for people to kind of come and see and you know just be able to kind of share you know other work people have been making kind of during yeah. during the kind of lockdown um and sort of seeing how that's all been for everyone so yeah i mean that's the thing that's what you know that's what i want to do i want to make work that other people can see and that they find uplifting yeah. and that that means something and is moving and you know, mm. that's why I do it. Um, so to sort of have it shut down is hard. But then, you know, it's it's not the end of the world and things will come right. And hopefully... And we'll rise again. <laughs> we will rise. That's, <laughs> that's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, mm. yeah. Well, there we go. I think that's a good parting shot. <laughs> well, thank you very much for showing me yeah. around. No problem. Well, to see it. yeah, thank you for creating and, um, and we'll see you soon. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye.